October 14th, 1991. Vasula says, Lord. The Lord answers, I am. Evangelize with love, for love. Be rooted in me, my child. Hand over everything to me and allow me to be your spiritual director, directing you and giving you my directives for the unification of my churches. You are to be a sign for them, and they will learn that since I am is one, you too will be one as we are one. Scriptures will be fulfilled, because my sacerdotal prayer to the Father will be accomplished. I am in you, so do not fear. Vasula says, This is very promising, Lord. The Lord says, Your mission, little one, is to bring my people under one name, my name, and break bread together. There is no need to worry. Do your best, and I will do the rest. I need humility to accomplish my works in you, and thus bring everything on the surface. Your faithless generation that shed so much blood from me will rebuff you, but, my Vasula, I shall hold you on your feet, in spite of the impressive wounds you will receive from this evil generation. Help will be given to you from above. I have preached to you and to others. Do not stop there. Forward the teachings I have given you both, in public and in your homes. I know how frail you are, but I also know what I have chosen. Vasula speaks. Lord, I feel content to know that we will be united, although no one yet really knows how. The problems are apparently great and the schisms greater still. As you say, the staff of the shepherd has been broken not only in half, but in splinters, and your body has been mutilated, wrenched and paralysed. You ask us all to bend. How? What is to be done? Which is the first step? I am Greek Orthodox, and I am sharing with my Roman Catholic brothers everything, and I do not differentiate myself under your name when I am with them, nor do they treat me any differently from their own. I also know that many of them go to the Greek or Russian Orthodox churches. The Lord says, Speak up, child. Vasula says, Give me the right words, Lord. The Lord says, Say. And they are not allowed to share your body. No, Vasula says, They are not allowed, although our sacraments are the same. Yet we Orthodox are allowed to share your body. I was even told I was excommunicated because I go to the Roman Catholics, not to say more. I am also persecuted from both sides because my confessor is a Roman Catholic. And you do witness all of this, my Lord Jesus. The Lord speaks. Yet the day will come when they will break bread together on one altar. No one will stop my children coming to me. No one will ask them, Are you an Orthodox? The footnote reads, Apparently, the Greek and Russian Orthodox priests have the right to ask the person who wants to receive Holy Communion whether they belong to them. They refuse the Roman Catholics from receiving Holy Communion, although the sacraments are the same. This fortress they have built to divide you is already condemned by me. You are all brothers in me. This is what you are to teach them to believe and persuade them to do. As for those who remain divided in body and spirit, differentiating themselves under my holy name, I tell them, as I told the church in Sardis, the footnote reads, Revelation 3, you are reputed to be alive in the eyes of the world, but not in your maker's eyes. Revive what little you have left, it is dying fast. And wherever the corpse is, there will, be vul the, there will the vultures gather. Unite, assemble, invoke my name together, consecrate my body and blood together. Do not persecute the way. 
humble yourselves and bend, so as to be able to unite and glorify me. You speak of the Spirit, but do not act in the Spirit. You speak of the way, but you rank first to obstruct it. How little do you know me? You call out my name, yet you murder my children between the sanctuary and the altar. I tell you solemnly, all of this will be brought to you in the day of judgment. Can you face me and truly say, I am reconciled with my brothers? Can you truly say, I have not differentiated myself among brothers under your holy name. I have treated them as my equal. When you present your case before me, I shall then say to your face, Away with you! You have not treated your brother as your equal. You have massacred daily my body. Where is your triumph? While I was building, you were tearing down. While I was reassembling, you were scattering. While I was uniting, you were dividing. Yet even today, if you come to me as you are, I can heal you, I can transfigure you, and you will glorify me. Alas for those with child or with babies at the breast when my day comes. Right. The footnote reads, Jesus means the explanation of verse of Luke 21 verse 23. Alas for those I find with sin coiled in them as with child, and with adepts formed by them, and of their own kind. But it has been said that from your own ranks there will be men coming forward with a travesty of the truth on their lips, to induce the disciples to follow them. The footnote reads, Acts 20, verse 30. I am shouting, and I am trying to break through your deafness to save you. And if I reproach you, it is because of the greatness of the love I have for you. But I tell you truly, I shall assemble one day all the separated parts of my body together into one assembly. Do not weep, my friend. The footnote reads, Jesus speaks to those who truly love him and are truly and sincerely working to unite the church, the churches, his friends. You who love me, endure what I endure. However, console me and have faith in me. You will achieve great works in my name. Be tolerant as I am tolerant. I had been hungry, thirsty and often starving, and you came to my help. Carry on your good works, and I shall reward you. I tell you truly, you are not alone. I am with you. Be united in me, and live in peace. You are the posterity of my blood, and the heir of my kingdom. Tell them that the heart of the Lord is love, and that the heart of the law is based on love. Tell my people that I do not want administrators in my house. They will not be justified in my day, because it is these very ones who have industrialised my house. I have sent you my spirit to live in your hearts. This is why the spirit that lives in you will show you that my church will be rebuilt inside your hearts, and you will acknowledge each other as your brother in your heart. The footnote reads, as the Lord (coughs) speaks, My Jesus, in saying all this, had taken the voice of a victim, weary begging as though he depended on us, like a prisoner in a cell going to the door of his cell and asking the guard from the little window, how much longer yet was his sentence before the day of his liberation? The Lord speaks, Will I, brother, One more season go through the pain I have been going through year after year? Or will you give me rest this time? Am I going to drink one more season the cup of your division? Or will you rest my body and unify for my sake the feast of Easter? In unifying the date of Easter you will alleviate my pain, brother, 
and you will rejoice in me, and I in you, and I will have the sight of many restored. My beloved, my creator, he who is my husband, has revealed to us the things that no human hand could have performed. This is what you will cry out, once your sight is restored in my name. And I will come to you. The footnote says, This Jesus said, as a king, majestically. I solemnly tell you, summon, assemble all of you, and listen this time to your shepherd. I will lead you in the way that you must go. Send my message to the ends of the earth. Courage, daughter, smile when I smile. I am with you to guide your steps to heaven. Signed, Ich this, Jesus Christ, beloved God's Son and Saviour.